Welcome to Accounting in Focus. Hello. In this video, we are going to talk about activity-based costing. And in the first step of activity-based costing, um, we need to calculate the cost pool amounts that we're going to use as the cost for each activity. So this is actually this is a multi-step problem. So in the first video, we're just going to do item one. So item one says calculate the total cost of each activity pool. So if you look up at the top here, um, I've got a company that does warehousing. And so as part of their warehousing, they have three costs. They have indirect labor, they have materials, and they have depreciation on machinery. And then they have three activities. They've identified their activities as order processing, moving, and repackaging. So I've got the costs that make up the total cost of warehousing, and then I've got three activities that the company does that make up their warehousing activity. So the first thing that we need to look at is we need to look at what percentage of each of these items goes into each activity. So if you look at order processing, so for order processing, 25% of the indirect labor cost is attributed to order processing. Then 30% of the material cost goes to order processing. And none of the machinery depreciation goes into order processing. Okay, so when you're looking at these percentages, these percentages are what percentage of each of the items make up the cost of order processing. Okay, so if you look down here, I basically have the exact same chart that I have up here at the top, except I remove the percentages. I'm going to replace the percentages with the dollar amounts from indirect labor, materials, and depreciation on machinery that should go in its place. Okay, so let's look at the calculation. So the total cost of indirect labor is $164,000. Of the $164,000, 25%, see we've got it up here, 25% is for order processing. So I'm going to take $164,000 and I'm going to multiply it by 25%, and that is that is 41,000 even. So 25% of the 164,000 is $41,000. Now let's allocate all the indirect labor, so let's keep moving across. So for moving, 10% of my indirect labor is for moving, so 10% of 164,000 is 16,400. And then repackaging, repackaging takes a lot of labor, so 65% of my indirect labor is actually for repackaging. So that's 106,600. And if you add these three numbers together, they tie back to the 164. So 41,000 plus 164 plus 106,600 is $164,000. Okay, so let's go to materials. So 23,000 total for materials, 30% goes to order processing. So 23,000 times 30% is $6,900. Zero goes to moving, so there are no materials in moving. And then repackaging is the other 70% of the cost, so that is 16100 Okay, so now depreciation on machinery, 36000 total. None of it goes to order processing, so we're going to put zero for order processing. Moving 80%. 80% is for moving, so 80% of 36,000 is 28,800. 
and the other 20 percent is for repackaging. So 20 percent of 36,000 is 7,200. Okay, so now I've allocated all three of my costs. It's always good to go back and just add these three up to make sure that they tie back to the total cost. Because if you look at the percentages, 25 plus 10 plus 65 is 100 percent. So that means that if you add these three numbers together, they should be 164,000. It's just a good double check to do, and just to make sure that you allocated everything correctly. So now if we want to figure out the total cost, because right, that's what I asked to calculate the total cost, right, total cost of each activity pool. So I'm going to add the 41,000 for indirect labor plus the 6,900 for materials, and the total cost of order processing is $47,900. For moving, the total cost, if I add the 16.4 plus the 28.8, is 4,000, or I'm sorry, 45,200. And then if I add the 106.6 plus the 16.1 plus the 7,200, the total cost of repackaging is 129,900. Okay, so that's how you allocate your costs to each of your activity pools. In the next video, we're going to take these costs, we're going to calculate a rate for each activity, and then we're going to calculate the cost of a shipment. So you can see how you allocate those rates um, to an actual order, or in this case, a shipment. So if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video. If you have questions, make sure to leave a comment. You can share this video out on social media so you can help your friends out as well. And make sure to visit accountinginfocus.com, which is my website, which has written tutorials. I do written examples um, and also link to my videos. So it's a great place to find everything in one spot. Take care. See you soon. Bye.